Hello people that the terrorists are doing today's Q&A. A lot of people are excited for this and there's a lot of questions to go through so just bear with me for a few minutes. So first question from the return of Mick. What type of music do you like uh, or listen to? Hey, so what I, what music, I, the simple answer is I like anything, any music that's Irish. Any traditional Irish music, um, you know, Irish folk songs, um, things like that. Irish weather music especially. I'm sure that was no surprise to anybody. Um, but yeah, I like that music. I like anything Irish. Um, I like English songs translated into Irish, you know, Irish words. Um, you know, I find them very good songs to be listening to. And very relaxing songs. So yeah, any Irish music, any Irish music. Uh, country Irish music too. A big, I was a big fan of Big Tom, um, Richard Kavanagh, th things like that. Um, Irish folks, I was great people who make great music. But anyway, what was my most weirdest dream? And that's coming from, I'm trying to remember the person's name off the top of my head and I can't remember. Cathy Leach, I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, what is your weirdest dream? Well, long story short, it's a, it's a bit of a, I give you a bit of a backstory to this. Um, so basically one night, it's about possibly two years ago, possibly. Um, I did that whole one year ago, I can't remember exactly where about. But yeah, I was asleep one night, um, on my own, sadly. <laughs> that, would, that would have been, that would have been um, a bit astray, but anyway, uh, we go with it. Um, but... Um, um, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of knocked myself over there. Um, uh, my weirdest dream, yeah, was some, you know, I was in bed, right, and it was a dream, and and you know, I happened to be, in, you know, I was dropped into this mid uh, dream, and I was in the middle of nowhere, and you know, for a good about say six or seven hours, I was just walking in my dream. I don't know what I was doing, um, you know, and then it was just kind of weird, like it was just walking, walking, and walking, and walking, and walking, and walking. And there was nothing around me, there was just blankness everywhere. There was nothing around me, I could see myself, but there was nothing else. Um, and God, that lasted probably all night. I <laughs> just, like, looking back and I could remember it, but just there was nothing. Like, I don't know what, what was it trying to tell me, or what was it, you know, trying to dream about. There was nothing there. <laughs> like, I honestly didn't know. That was the most weirdest dream ever, because usually, you know, sometimes when I dream, I, you know, I see people, I see things happening. Um, I'm very, I dream a lot. I do dream a lot in my sleep. Um... You know, I do dream. I had a dream last night, but it wouldn't be too weird. It's not interesting, really. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, that's that. Um, who is your celebrity crush? Oh, celebrity crush. Um, there's actually I can't think of the poster's name now, but she used to act in Star Wars. Um, if I remembered, yeah, I, I remember. If I look it up in the next um video. Um, but I can't remember. That's come from um. I can't I can't remember her name now, but I know I know the face to see. But um, yeah, that would be my celebrity crush. <coughs> uh, do I not say anymore? <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I look for her name because I can't remember. It's not it's not in my head now. It's I completely forgot now. Where was? Really, next question: Do your parents take take pride in what you do? Well, you know, some of my my parents um are very um how to put it. You know, always, you know, the old way of doing things. Always respect authority, this, that, and the other. Don't challenge anybody in government. Um, you know, be afraid of the Catholic Church. Be afraid of this. Be afraid of that. You have no, you have no authority to say anything. You know, that's really what my parents are like. Um, just afraid, you know, brainwashed into the old ways of, you know, keeping silent and covering things up. Um, and, you know, taking things as the, you know, taking things for what they were and not challenging anybody in authority. Um, and obviously that's very hard because I'm obviously very hard boss and it always challenges people in authority um, and be a nuisance to the government. Um, but yeah, I, you know, they don't like me doing it, um, but um, you know, things have to be done. Um, you have to stand up for your rights and you have to stand up for other people's rights and that's what I'm doing. Um, and they can't say, you know, they can't say many people, not many people do that, not many people would put, them, put themselves out to, you know, challenge people's rights and everything like that. No, challenge the people's authority, not challenge the people's rights. We're not that bad yet. Um, but yeah. So, would you ever like to become president or dictator of Ireland? Um, first of all, dictator, I would not want to be a dictator. Uh, I would like to become president. It would be a great honour to have a lot of people vote for you. And to say, you know, overwhelmingly that I want you to be president. I, I wouldn't want to just assume power in the moment and just be like, Well, you all lads, it's uh, Mickey or Logan here. Um, I'm a new person, so anybody who doesn't like me, I'm going to shoot you. You know, I would rather be elected. I would rather be elected. I would love to be elected. That would be a great honour for me. Um, you don't know, the future's, the future's bright. The future's bright, as they say. So, yeah, um, 
just trying to think where was it? Oh yeah, this is a bit of a question. So, any, have you any idea of what job or what you what to what to do? So first of all, that's that first question. Um, you know, I want to be a county councillor. I want to, you know, for the moment, to be a county councillor for Calvin. Um, I do want to just see, throw my hat into the wing and see how we get on there. But at the moment, I tell you, I would be classified as it, um, half a, a councillor, half a county councillor, and half a political activist. So you know, in the window, it's supposed to be 30, 30, um, forty, you know, forty fifty or something like that. You know, forty percent councillor, you know, forty percent political activist. So technically, really, I am technically a county councillor, but not elected. Um, so that's technically that's the word we use technically. Um, it's not official. It's just you know. I'm just ponder around and annoy them. Uh, that's, that's the best way of putting it. Um, annoy the people in charge. Um, and what other job would I want to do? So, you know, I would, I've i always been a big fan of doing Tidy Towns work. I'm sure people are very aware of that. Um, you know, I would love to be on the Cote Um And before anybody says anything, I would want to do some work. Yeah, I would want to do something. I would want to do something. I don't know what. I, I wouldn't want to be sitting in the lobby all day drinking tea. And uh, that's not the life for me. If I wanted that, I'd be sitting in an office all tucked up. Um. <laughs> oh, hilarious laugh. A great laugh. <laughs> oh, what? What? <laughs> right, right. Under the next, under the next uh, set of it. Uh, would you ever watch GA? Yes, I would watch GA. I would watch. Yeah, if it's on the telly. Yeah, but sadly, you no. Know, nowadays, OT has been a bit of a fool. Yes, that's what I use OT. Because OT is like, let's sell uh, half of the G8 of Sky. Let's put it on Sky. Nobody would care. Nobody, you know, and I don't have Sky. You know, I would watch G8 if it's on OT too. But you know what? They just decided to sell it off to, you know, Sky News and to this and BT Sports and this, that, you know. Um, but I would watch it if it was on the telly. Yeah, of course I would. Um, I would watch it on the internet. But you know, I would watch it. Um, my badge is probably on the wrong way. <laughs> um, and any thoughts on Hitler? Uh, so, <clears throat> so first of all, um, in relation to Hitler, um, you know, the word I use and the word to describe, the best word I describe, he wasn't well in the head. Um, and that's the best way to put it in an Irish phrase. He wasn't well in the head. Or he wasn't, he, he had a few screws loose. Um, obviously what he done was that, you know, he committed the atrocities across Europe, he invaded, you know, neutral countries, invaded, you know, countries that had nothing to, that had no... You know, didn't want war, didn't want anything to do with anything. Um, and they faded them. And, you know, that was very wrong to do that. And they subjugated, you know, half of Europe. Um, and, you know, killed many innocent people, killed many innocent children, sent loads of people to the gas chambers. Um, you know, it wasn't right. It wasn't right. And it wasn't him. And his idea of Cochrane, half, half of Europe, and Cochrane, the USSR, um, you know, was very, um, you know, very delusional. That's the word he used. And... He just wasn't aware, he wasn't well in the head, and simple as that, that's the best way to put it, but, um, no, but what, what was done was a trust, the, like, honest to God, like, the amount of people who died in World War Two because of uh, Hitler, and because of Mussolini, because of, um, and because of Tojo in Japan, you know, um, and it was, you know, it was really hard and, for not, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, it achieved nothing, it really achieved, achieved loads of bloodshed, but it achieved nothing, it really, it brought the destruction of Germany. Uh, the same as Italy and the same as Japan. It brought, you know, the economies to flatline for a long time and then, you know, the you know, the whole world to hit, you know, the the <clears throat> Cold War, that's what brought on too. Um so it didn't achieve anything, so um no, but Hitler was a bad man. He didn't you know, for all the things he done, he like it, even in Ireland he done he done damage to Ireland too. He bombed, you know, the North Strand in Dublin. Um, we still don't know. It could have been an accident. It could have been an accident. It could have been mistaken. It's a, it could have been mistake, mistaken Dublin as, an, as a UK city and bombed it. Um, but, you know, I think it was, in uh, my own opinion, I think it was just to say to Ireland, keep out of, you know, the war. Um, and obviously 28 people died in that. Um, and there was never an apology given to the Irish government for it. Um, but, yeah, you know, that was just careless. That was just injuring, you know, innocent, very innocent civilians. That had nothing to do with anything. Um, and that's just goes to show you what war is about. Always, there's always going to be only cash. It's only people who have nothing to do with it are going to get affected. Um, but yeah. And then the last question. I think it's the last one. Then. So this is going to be the longest one. This is why I left it for a while. Jack Murphy. Um, <laughs> so this is why it's going to be a long, long answer to this one. So just bear with me. Are you dating anybody at the moment? 
So show that to us. I would love to. You know, there's a person I really, really care about, um, and you know, this is the first time open truth finally, um, for long, long, you know, for the last few we weeks, I suppose. And when I took a break from YouTube back a while ago, you know, that was all for, um, a post. That was all for a girl. Um, you know, it's hard. It's hard. Um, it's very, very hard. I would love to. You know, be in a relationship. That's the first time ever I said something like that. Um, and believe me, that's the first time ever I said something like that. Like, always am for, you know, you know, we're always very strong. Just, you know, do work with the community. Don't, you know, think about your personal life. You know, focus on your country. Focus on your community. Focus on your county. And, you know, when, you know for the first time ever, you know, I brought into the county into a relationship uh, with somebody. And obviously that didn't go to plan. And that's the word I use. Um, you know, I really do care about this person. Um, it's kind of tough for Autumn now, and that's why it made me depressed now that what happened. I'm not going to talk about it fully, but um, I'm sure you would understand. Didn't um, it wasn't the best situation. Um, and I might also admit, and I'm not going to say to people, you know, I am, and you know, I'm not, and you know, not give an answer, but I'm going to give you an answer because um, you know, it does need to be addressed and it does need to be talked about eventually. Um, you know, it was hard, it's difficult, it's very difficult, and still to this day I'm being bothered about it and being upset about it, I suppose. Not really bothered, that's the wrong word to use, it's just annoying me in my head. Because, you know, I really absolutely adore this person, I really look up to it, like, this is the only person, this is, um, this is how, you know, would know, because half my inspirations are dead, like, all of them, unfortunately, are dead, like Michael Collins, um, Portia Pierce, everybody like that, um, Wolf Tone, everybody. That you know, I uh, look up to in history, um, it's dead, it's really dead, and a long time dead, um, which is sad. But, um, you know, this is the only person that's alive that I look up to that I, you know, exp they look up and inspire the person. Um, and obviously, you know, she doesn't really want that, um, which is sad, but, um, you can really tell that, you know, I'm very emotional <laughs> in this, um, but, you know, I'm. It's, you know, love to get into the, like, I'm really not too interested in getting far for any other girl. Um, as I said, I'm not really, I'm always prone, you know, get, you know, do community work, do, do country work, you know, solve your country, solve your community. Um, you know, to help with your personal life, that's more or less what my, you know, motto is. But, you know, for the first time ever, you know, I was going to, I was willing to, you know, um, reduce it a bit, like, you know, my political career and everything, I was going to reduce it. You know, to be with, the, you know, to want to be with this person. Um, but obviously that didn't, you know, it might work out, it could still work out, but please God, maybe it might find some solution to it. But, um, you know, but that was the first time ever, you know, I was ever considering that in my whole life. You know, to put everything aside and just, you know, you know trying, to live, trying to be happy about, you know, being with somebody and trying to, you know, trying to connect with somebody um, in a romantic way. But... Um, obviously God doesn't like me, so, um, he wants to punish me, but, um, yeah, you never know, the future, the future's always, always there, the future's always hopeful, and, um, you know, it could, it could, something could please God happen, but if this person is watching it, if she does watch this video, you know, um, she knows who she is, and, you know, and I just say to her, you know, I do care about you, and I do, you know, I do love you, and, um, um, you know, I don't want us to be, you know, enemies, and that's the word I use. I don't want to be friends, at least. Um, so, yeah, there's an admission. <laughs> there's an admission. Um, and that's the truth, and that's really the truth. There's a bit left out. I left a bit out, but, um, you know, maybe someday I might be willing to say it again. I might be able to tell you the whole full story, but it's just a small bit left out. Um, obviously, you know, I'm not really too willing to talk about it that much, but I want to give an answer to, to people's questions. So, there's the long hat, so... Um, so yeah, take your fortune, subscribe for more, and if you've and leave a like if you enjoyed, and um, share if you enjoyed too, and subscribe for more. And bye.